you guys don't understand. This is no longer a Civ channel. This, this is a Super Auto Pets channel right now. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. This is how it's going to be here today. Does anyone hear anything? I think his mic is muted. Also, shout out to my boys at, um, who even makes this? Dal, 1930. This is the greatest lemon drink you will ever find, okay? It's addictive. Beautiful. I'm allowed one of them a day. Uh, I'm not sponsored, by the way. Totally not. Um, I actually hate my shop here. Uh, well, I guess, you know what? Beaver Mosquito Cricket isn't like, these are all like good stats. This guy, they all have two damage, which basically means you kill everything but a fish. So a fish basically counters my entire life, but the mosquito does an extra damage. I'm tempted to roll away from the beaver. I mean, I've got honey. I think the beaver and the mosquito and this guy combined. I'll probably give honey to the cricket next round. Honey is just the best tier one food. No, no doubles. We're good, right? We just gotta go. Uh, we will be the, uh, we'll be the boring shirts. You know what, dude? Your shirt is supposed to say something wacky and smart or whatever, but it just makes you look like an asshole. Um, probably should move the old camera doodle somewhere. Like, I don't even know where the best spot to be is. I'm gonna assume it's like right here where I can talk about what's happening. And that, that's what I was talking The fish absolutely destroys us here. All The only thing we could lose to was a fish. Um, wouldn't you know, we lost to a fish. I like an otter here. I think I'll go otter. Okay, we got the big cricket. I'll buy, I'll buy a beaver. Double beaver. Honey the cricket at the back. Another otter pair, another skeeter. Potential, we've got pretty good potential for triples next round. Not great, I'll, I'll admit that, not great. We might be selling some beavers, depending on what we roll here. The hard fish counter. I feel like I have a pretty... I've, I've probably got one of the stronger lineups that you could you could end up with here with no, like, funny business. Um, however, you know, their cricket is just bigger, and he got a fish. He just... he had a fish. Just the fish counter is my build, because I have nothing that can do three damage. So that's just, that's just how life is. Sometimes your opponent gets a fish, sometimes you don't have a fish. All right, I got a big beaver. Um, that's what she said. Uh, let's go ahead and combine the mosquito. Roll me. Now, I will... Ooh, I like this plan. I'm going to add the beaver, buy a swan, freeze a beaver. I don't know if I want a hedgehog. I don't have an ant to pill. I think we sit pretty and then we get a level three. We, we go level two beaver next turn. I think this is a much better squad than we were on. We were on a much better squad than we were on like last turn. So this is like perfect. We're, we're, we're sitting pretty, baby. What's this game? This is Super Auto Pets, baby. What are you, out of the meta? Oh my God, this is like the greatest game ever made in human history. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, the fish, uh, this time we do have a counter for the fish, but do we have a counter for the peacock? We actually don't. We lose to a peacock here. Uh, his damage is irrelevant. The fact that he just had invincible, like, insane amounts of health was just the, the bullet in the coffin. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and combine the beaver. Now, I'll take a blowfish, perhaps. What am I doing to, like, add a blowfish to this lineup? I don't think I'm... I don't... I, as sad as it is to say, I think I'm buying meat and I'm giving it to a beaver. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Give a meat bone to a beaver. <laughs> uh, and again, um, maybe I just feed a goose, a swan. I'll, I'll freeze an apple and I'll roll. Up. Nope, nothing, nothing to combine. I'll give meat. I'll give meat to a swan as well. You know what? Double meat on the front. We're, we're going for the early wins. Bullet in the coffin. Is that an American saying? I'm uh, listen. I was, does, I, I've gone rogue. I'm just saying weird shit now. Nothing I say makes sense. Yeah, the melon armor. All right, now his swan is huge. And in fact, his swan, how does he have such a huge fish? I don't know. Fish has been absolutely destroying me this entire run. I actually may be dead. I think it's over for us. We have garlic armor. Like we're actually, we're two hits away from lethal and we're on round five with zero wins. This is a cursed run right now. I think I, 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 I I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like I need to get rid of the cricket. I hate selling the cricket because it's good value, but I feel like a sheep is better than a cricket right now. I need to upgrade my lineup, maybe a skeeter. There is a pingling. Um, and if I'm sitting on a pingling, the otter is going. I grab myself a penguin. Uh, I could give garlic to someone. I could, you know what? Uh, I'll freeze a garlic. 
and roll once. Uh, am I giving it garlic? I, you know what? Let's just go all in on the meat. We're going all in on meat. Absolutely beautiful. If this guy had a horse, we would lose. I'm just saying it. If he had a horse, we would lose. But uh, we made it through. The penguin actually made a difference there. And the penguin will continue to make a difference. Uh, I don't know what I do here in this situation. Uh, do I garlic up my back line? That seems weird. I think I think I just need a stronger beaver. I think my beaver just needs to be stronger. I'll take a stronger swan. Uh, I'll freeze an apple and roll once. And then I'll feed an apple to the beaver. I need this beaver to be huge. It just, it's got to carry. It's a 9-9 beaver. It, I don't think it's strong enough. That's a, that's a big hedgehog right there. This dude's lineup is actually legitimately scary. Uh, because he just, he just wiped me, dude. But the meat? Never trust a mosquito on some meat, dude. Uh, now a chicken. Perhaps a chicken? I feel like a chicken is an upgrade to a sheep. I'll take a chicken. It's probably time to start thinking about garlic armor on this beaver. Rabbit, potential food. Scaling. I can't like weaken my lineup too much though. I gotta play for value. Ooh, there's a pear on the beaver. Now I feel confident giving him a garlic. I mean, honey badger rabbit are freezable. Ooh, bison. Bison, I think, replaces Skeeter. Because I only need two upgrades on this guy to get him to level three. And then the bison might be my way to scale out of this problem I have. It's a rooster? A chicken, whatever, listen. It's a bird, okay? It's a bird. Uh, he has a huge swan. Okay, I traded well. I'm trading well still. I'm trading poorly. I'm trading poorly. Uh, we, we, we nailed it. We nailed it, okay? Just let it, let it be known. A, a, a big rooster comes out even with a honey badger. Right? Rooster's nothing to mess with. Let's, let's combine a swan. Crocodile. Crocodile is just a better mosquito. So I sell my skeeter, I take the croc. Should have bought the canned food. I'll buy the canned food. The honey badger is just a better rooster because he sits at the end of my lineup. And then I don't want a pingling, but I'll keep a bison frozen and then I can roll twice. Ooh. Do I want the scaling or do I want the parrot? Because double crocodile? Does parrot actually trigger? Parrot does trigger. Is your leg still dying? No, my leg is fine. I'm totally fine. I think I think we drop... Man, I really want to drop penguin here. I can't actually afford it. I've only got one gold. We'll, we'll freeze you prospectively. I do want honey for my badger. Uh, that's it. Parrot doesn't copy penguin. No, I'm talking about crocodile. I want him to copy crocodile. Oh, eight damage. Nice parrot, mate. Oh my god, this dude just owned me. Oh, the badger. If I had honey on that badger, that would have been a win. This is why you gotta have honey on the badger, dude. Now, ooh. Hold on. Scaling. Potentially time to drop the ox stream. And we just start scaling this. I mean, we gotta scale the beaver. It's our only hope. Potentially we drop the penguin. We buy a cow. Feed, feed. Drop penguin. Well, first we got to give honey to the badger. Then we buy the cow. We milk the badger. Roll me. Salad bowl. Roll me. Now we're getting somewhere. We sell the cow. We buy the parrot. Now we got a lineup. Now we've got a lot. Now we're now we're now we're cooking with diesel. It's not a great lineup, but it's one that survived. We're on round nine of your two wins. Any believers? 
Any believers in chat? Alright, come on. Ooh, he sniped my parrot! What? We got the double snipe! Yes! Your puffer fish isn't strong enough. I'm sorry. I've got a honey badger at the end of my lineup. You don't know anything about playing this game. Now, I am in a position to, uh, to chili something, but I think what I could do here is sell the parrot, buy the cow, and then rebuy the parrot, because I just need a level one parrot, because I eventually these will get replaced. The bigger I make my beaver, the better. I just want a huge beaver. Uh, roll me. Mike at sushi. Three random pets. Not bad. Uh, roll me. Chocolate? That's the kind of thing we want to see here. My beaver is absolutely huge. I'm going to freeze the chocolate because that's like a free level up. I can almost get a level three beaver. Um, we have the double snipe. I would love to level up a crocodile. If I hit a crocodile soon, I would definitely go level two croc. But yeah, we're we're surviving. And we're just on the edge of our, of our, our time. Honey on the last pet seems like a good move. Honey on a badger makes the honey badger, and honey badger is a lifesaver. Because what happens is, uh, the badger's ability, we won by the way, the badger's ability is when he faints, he attacks again. So, the badger faints, he attacks again, kills whatever killed him, and then the bee appears, and the bee is like, there's no enemies left, and then you win. And that's why, ooh, I'm really liking fly. Now, if we want to do something real weird, we could actually sell the crocodile, and this sounds crazy, right? But sell the crocodile and go fly and have a parrot copying a croc, or have a, a parrot copying a fly. I do like this snipe thing. The snipe thing is feeling amazing. But I'm not leveling it up fast enough. Flies are strong as hell. Flies are super strong. The problem is the fly... Mm, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm, you know what? I'm sticking with the snipe build. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna feed. Uh, I'm gonna feed my beaver because I want that level three beaver. Uh, there's the level two honey badger. Honey badger value. Ooh, dragon transition. Dragon transition with a swan. That's some serious value. So I think we freeze a dragon. Uh, we buy some sushi. We roll and we start freezing level ones. So we can now go wide. People happy on our scaling. Um, and, and like really win the game here with this dragon next round. So we, we still have a loss in the bank. We can lose one more game before it like gets really, really toasty. But I feel like my lineup is strong enough to, to take on a lot. Except a worm with melon armor. A worm with melon armor is kind of scary. But we did, we sniped each other. And I've got a honey badger and he doesn't have a honey badger. So my honey badger wins. Honey badger, one of the best units in the game, okay? Respect the honey badger. Uh, so... I'm going to drop Crocodile, I'm going to drop Parrot, and we're going to go Dragon. Because what the Dragon does is when you buy a pet with this one dot symbol on it, um, he gives plus one damage and health to your entire lineup. So the Dragon is like super good value. I'll buy a cow. I'll feed my beaver. Sell the cow. Buy a Skeeter. Roll me. A duck, an otter. Yeah, we're looking great. We got a fat line up here. Um, maybe like this. I'm feeling good about this. Feeling real good. Now, the only thing is my honey badger is vulnerable to, to, to backline sniping. That's the only thing. All right, we're up against an octopus. I have no idea what an octopus does. Um, this puppy is huge. We did beat the puppy, um, but the honey badger is not going to be able to do it, sadly. Wasn't able to do it this time. It's okay. We're, we're, we're still in lost territory. Plus, we just did a dragon transition. So, this is where our new build is at its weakest. Unironically, uh, Mushroom is just a better honey badger. Like a better honey badger. Um, so, I'm tempted to give Mushroom to my honey badger. I'm going to freeze a Mushroom. Mushroom, it's basically like a uh, bee. It's basically like giving an animal honey, except it comes back as itself and therefore it does its passive again. So that could make my badger even more powerful. I'll do this. And I'll roll once. I'll do... I'll roll one more time. And that's it. That's all I'm rolling. Well, I could sell this. I could... S well, I no, I want to have the mushroom on the badger. The mushroom on the badger can be a big game changer. I'll keep a cow though. Okay, I'm glad I I'm glad I I'm glad I did it the way I did. We're we're like we're very weak. <clears throat> I 
That's a mammoth. My swan was taken out. This is the kind of lineup that could do damage to me. Um, however, honey badger... Isn't it a beautiful thing? The honey badger that creates another badger. It's beautiful. You just, you don't see this kind of plays in, in low ELO. These are the kind of, well, melon. Now I'm thinking melon swan or melon... I don't know if melon is... I don't know if I have a strong enough unit for melon, but I will buy a cow because a cow gives you milk. And milk is almost as good as buying a level one when you have a dragon. The, 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 the swan here is really what's carrying us. Right, we'll sell you. Now that we do have chocolate, a level three, potentially? Gorilla. Nobody wants a gorilla, okay? Um, uh, and then I'll just put a value fly in that position. And boom, boom, boom. We got a fat, we got a thick as fuck lineup right now. Thick as fuck. Not that big. It'll be a 1 1 badger. It's a 1 1 badger that can still kill a bee or a cricket because it'll do its attack again. So that's the important thing. A 1 1, a, ba a, a, a level 1 badger. Oh. The badger. The badger always wins. The badger. Why would you put a. Why, why, why would you give a mushroom to a badger? You just win every time. You win every time. You give a mushroom to a badger. Um, I got meat. Maybe dragon meat. Meat on my dragon would give loud punch up high. Yeah, I think meat on the dragon here. Roll me. Uh, swan me. Roll me. Swan me. Roll me. We just didn't hit any level one creatures this turn. Well... Oh my god, dude, this guy's got so many scorpions! I have I have the counter, though. I have the fly counter. Do I? I think I do. Yes! We have the counter! The, the fly counter, dude. The fly counter. I don't even know if I want to change my lineup now. I need to keep the fly. Why'd you get a level 3 beaver if you aren't selling it? Because he's the fattest unit on my team, and I just need a huge beaver. So sometimes, sometimes you come up against the fly, it's like, Fuck, where's that fly, dude? It's in my team. That's where the fly is. It's ruining your game. I think we just start eating food. Um, I think we just need this lineup to stay how it is. Big swan. I think we just hold. We hold position and we pray. We're clinging. We're clinging, boys. We're, we're one. <gasps> That's a huge puppy! The fly value? Couldn't do it. Couldn't get through. Level 1 honey badger. Well, we didn't, you know, listen. This was a cursed run. We, we were like five wins or five runs in and we had like zero wins or whatever. This was a cursed run and we managed to pull it back to a 16 turn, 8 win run. That's a beautiful. The chef's kiss kind of run right there. Okay, we're going to do another round. Where are my believers? Believers are doubters. We've started, we've started a new prediction. Go ahead and gamble. All right. Le legally gambling. Uh, we got a fish. We got an ant. We got a mosquito. I actually don't hate this lineup. I think we go ant. Do I think we put the fish at the back and we freeze the honey. We roll, looking for the double ant. Awesome. Uh, I'll be the overexcited. Uh, or well, you know what? I'll be the innocent fireman. All right, my ant. Oh, the mosquito difference does not make a difference, but I do beat his cricket and my fish beats his beetle. Easy, easy. Sometimes these wins are just come, come to you easy. Now that's a level three ant right there. Um, I'll take a level three ant for next round. I'll put honey on the fish. Fish might stay around a while. Probably not. Probably not staying around that long. But honey on the fish, this means we get an early win. Early wins are actually really, really important because it gets you closer to those 10 wins. Oh my God, how many fish does this guy have? Jesus Christ. Well, I do have like the fat ants and fat ants counter the fish. So that's pretty good. 
uh, when we're gambling with stolen channel, channel points, is it illegally gambling? Of course it is. Uh, I think I think I combine an ant here. I could pill an ant. Like I could just pill this. I could just I could go level two ant and immediately pill it. I think that's a little bit crazy. I don't think we'll do that. A dog this early is a weird kind of thing that I'm willing to do. Especially if I grab myself an otter. Just don't buff the cricket. I'm okay with the fish. Um. I could sell the ant and get a cricket. We're looking good here. I think we I think we've got a lineup that can go to distance here. Uh, the dog is already fat as hell. And that uh, we've got a fat as hell ant at the front. I think this can do some work. I think this can do some work. My ant counters the meat fish. Easy. He'll buff something behind him. Now I've got a huge fish in the back line. Now his other fish is kind of scary, and the double... No, I think we win. That's the... It's the power of putting honey at the back of your lineup, dude. Always put honey at the back of your lineup. You're wasting your time if you're not. Uh, this build that I'm kind of going for scales really well off of swan gold. I think I sell both of these. Alright, here, they're gonna do something weird. I'm gonna hope that I hit the dog. Uh, we hit the dog. Uh, we buy a swan. We buy a fish. We roll once. We buy a hedgehog. I regret the hedgehog purchase. I'm going to be real with you guys. But I have a hedgehog. And I freeze both of these fish. I'll be doing a big fat combine next round. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, roll me. I should have put meat on my hedgehog or something. But I think we got a big dog. We got, 11, we got an 11-5 dog. That's a thick dog, okay? He's going to be doing damage. That is a mosquito uh, that just crushed my lineup. Okay, sometimes you lose to a mosquito and it's not even your fault. The hedgehog, I, I shouldn't have bought the hedgehog. The hedgehog was a mistake. I should have rolled past the hedgehog. I don't know what I was thinking, but I do know what I'm thinking now. And that is, I really want this value snail. Thank you for all the stats, Mr. Snail. Combine me. Move me. Buy me. Roll me. Bu buy me. Combine me. Garlic me. Dude, I got, I'm gonna have the biggest fish ever. I wish this honey was on the badger, but that's okay. I got a big fish. I got a big dog. Uh, maybe we should put the big fish and the big dog at the front. Swan is okay. This, this is my wild card. I think leading with the dog, I want to garlic the dog now. The dog is huge. Honey Badger is... Uh, you. Why would you never not... Why would you ever not run Honey Badger Swan? You only need three strong units. Honey Badger makes you win ties. Uh, Swan gives you long-term scaling value via gold, which nothing does that. So, I mean... The Honey Badger just breaks ties. Um, let's garlic the dog. I'm so close to a fish. I don't like what I'm going to have to do here. But I'll do this. I'll buy you. I'll combine you. I'll buy you. Now you have to do it like this because the dog, the friend has to be summoned, which means it has to appear. And then I'll put a flamingo in the middle of my lineup and I'll, you know, I'll freeze, I'll freeze a snail just in case we lose a, a, a round here. A snail is really good value for this lineup. I really want to get honey on this badger. I want honey on this badger. That's a meat bison. That is a very, that's a very ambitious bison, but you're trying to do that with a level two flamingo. Okay, I appreciate um, I appreciate the audacity of such a move, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to work. Now, the honey, his honey badger didn't quite have the damage. That's why you got to have honey on the badger. If he had honey on that badger, he would have he would have even the score. So crab is a good one drop. I think I'll sell the flamingo. I'll buy the pig, sell the pig, because every time I buy something, the dog gets stronger. Um, the crab and the turtle are great one drops. I don't need this guy. Do I want the turtle? I think I'll keep the crab. Roll me. Rogan. Um, we got Swan Combine. Combine Swan. Buy a Crab. Roll me once. None of these units excite me. I'd like to get different food on my fish. And I'd like to get my level 3 fish so I could sell them or go for a bison. The level 3 fish is, is really good value. 
Is this an NFT game? Hell yeah, dude. I'm printing cryptocurrency right now. Me and your mom, we print cryptocurrency every weekend. Uh, I'm absolutely just demolishing. Here's the thing about this game. A lot of people think you have to go for a specific build. No, the only thing that's in the meta right now is bison. And it's like, no, you make the strongest set of units you can with what's given to you. And you'll, you'll have a good build. Like, I don't have good options here, but I'm still going to be like, all right, I'll sell you, I'll buy you, I'll sell you, I'll buy you. I'll, you know, I'll give you food. I'll freeze the food. I'll roll. Didn't hit anything interesting. Uh, I could garlic my fish. I'm going to pair my, my, my dog and freeze this because this is still, like, this is still a strong lineup. Um, I don't want to swallow a unit, so I'll put the whale at the front. Whale's a terrible pick here. Don't pick whale. We're demolishing. Now, we're basically running a four squad, which is not ideal. It puts us on the back foot a little bit here. Um, but that's okay. This opens up us, you know, we could potentially get some good snail value here if we have a snail. A monkey, a bison. Um, this is where things can get a little bit freaky. I want, I want to keep a monkey. I think it might be time to stop trying to like play for dog scaling. Um, we could do a little bit of dog scaling. Because this is still a level one dog. You know, we want to find a transition out of a level one dog. And a good transition out of a level one dog is a, is a monkey. Because here's the thing. Um, every time I summon an animal, this dog gets plus one health or plus one damage. Every time I end the turn, if he's at the front, now he's getting plus three, plus three. So this lineup becomes a lot more static if I, if I, if I, if I, if I get a monkey. And I like the monkey, so I'm going to keep him. I'd like to garlic the fish. There is a snail. Whew. Man, I wish I saw you last round. I don't think I can afford to replace him now. I'm looking for a fish. And if I get a fish, I would sell the swan and put a... I would probably... I would sell the swan and put a dog at the front. That's what I would do. Okay, there's another monkey. So this is just... We're, we're all in on monkey coin now. Although I will take a level two honey badger now. There's a tiger. Freeze a monkey. Roll me. Another snail. We might live... You know what? Uh, we'll see if we win this one. But, like, my dog is just now getting huge. A little bit of early scaling on a dog. I think the big mistake a lot of people make is they commit too hard to keep scaling their dog via the dog scaling mechanic. You don't have to commit to the dog scaling mechanic. We actually just lost to uh, a hippo. That's a huge... Uh, that's a huge loss for us. Um, because I think that puts us on lethal. Yeah, we're on two health now, so we're on lethal. Things are scary. I may have to do something drastic, like a scorpion here. I think we can't afford swan anymore, so this is going there. Actually, I just fucked up, because you can't, you can't go monkey scorpion. It doesn't make sense. You can go... You can go monkey, level three fish. Bison. You can do that. That is something you can do. Okay, this build has the potential to scale us out of this problem. Level three fish. We have, we, you know, there is, there is a universe here where we survive. Um, Because this bison is getting five damage and five health per turn. Now, that's not a huge amount. But it might be enough. This peacock is huge. I think we just lose. We don't have it in us, sadly. But hey, that was a good run. That was an okay run. Uh, let's pay out. Uh, I believe the believers win. Believers win most of the time. That's the thing. But when the doubters win, it's a big payday. Big payday. Uh, let's do a new prediction. Uh, oh. I will do this. I'm going to buy one otter, I'll freeze an otter, I'll roll, and then I'll take an ant. I prefer to do it this way because I don't I don't want a 2-3 otter round one and a double buffed skeeter. It just feels, feels weak to me. I'll freeze a honey and then we're ready to go. Uh, I'll be the, uh, <laughs> I'll be the illegal bell towers. I like that. I believed and I was rewarded. I know, you, this is the thing. It's a dangerous game to be a doubter in the world. It's a dangerous game. 
Especially when you got a player who's as good as I am. Oh my god, the mosquito value there is insane. Um, and the otter actually came through clutch here. I'm very happy with how things are going so far. I don't like the duck. I'm gonna buy an otter. I'm gonna roll. I guess we're running double pig. I guess we're running it back with double pigs at the front. That's what we're doing. Um, that's how we're gonna get through this. Double pig at the front should be able to kill basically anything. Basically anything at this point in the game. Unless it has four health. Yeah, he doesn't have anything but four health. He has a lot of crickets. He's a lot of crickets. How does a man get this many crickets? We did manage to kill one of his horses, which doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, but I do have a huge, uh, a huge skeeter at the back. And like the skeeter value of hitting that horse just like completely changed that game for me. It was insane. Uh, but tier two animals are unlocked. I feel like my lineup is trash. Uh, my lineup is legitimately trash right now and I don't have good options. Elephant is just like a strong backliner, I guess, with honey. Roll me. Fish? <sighs> well, I could pair up a Skeeter. And I could pill that ant. I mean, I think it's too late to go fish. Otter, maybe. And there, okay, we've got two level three. We've got two level twos, which will allow us to get better units next turn. So we, we're struggling a little bit, but we have, we have ways to get out of it. We have ways to get out of it. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. All right, that, that was a bad trade for me. Oh, but it comes back and the B. Always put it. Why would you never put a B on the end of your line? It wins you so many rounds. It wins you so many. All right, mosquito. I would take a giraffe. All right, otter. I would take a giraffe and an ox. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to sell the pig. We're going to buy the ox. We'll pill the ant next turn. I'll freeze this. I'll put meat. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I can pill the ant now because by pilling the ant, I basically, the ox basically counts as two units. Really did not want the elephant, but now I can go giraffe. And I can also roll for potentially good units. We hit nothing. It's okay. Sometimes you hit nothing, but I have a fat ox at the front, a three, four ox with melon armor. It should be, a, I should have put a unit in front of it, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I messed up there. Yeah, I, 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 listen, I forgot to put the things in the right order. I forgot about the ant value. I, listen, I'm a bad player sometimes. We make mistakes. Doubters, you, that one's for free on me, okay? You got that one for free, but it enabled the double snail, believers. <laughs> Hello, believers. Okay. All right, double snail. We're back in the game, baby. Let's, let's have this set up a very specific way. The otter in front of the ox. Um, garlic armor. I mean, do I dare I garlic armor this goddamn mosquito? I think I dare. I think I dare garlic armor the skeeter, and <laughs> that's the round. Absolutely incredible. When you hit a double snail on like round five or six, you've actually just won the game. Our next two rounds are going to be so easy. So insanely and impossibly easy, it's not even funny. Oh my god, this guy is going for the horse value. But you can't, you can't go for horse value. Like when you got the giga skeeter, it's not going to work. <sighs> Um, I don't think otter, I don't think otter coin is something I'm invested in anymore. I think maybe feeding this ox feels like the right move to me. So like if I sell the otter and buy an otter, hear me out, and then sell the otter, and then buy a rabbit, roll me, feed, we are feeding, uh, no reason to garlic anything. There's a rabbit. There's food. There's food. Roll me. Okay, we could do. We could. We could get a pretty big ox next turn. Not the biggest ox, but we could have a pretty big ox next turn. Thank you so much, G C G Gators. Thank you, C C B Gators. The big mosquito. It's gonna start falling off, but the fat ox at the front too. Is, is just doing work. And I still have a big, a pretty thick elephant at the back of my lineup too. 
So even if they run all the way through this, their backline better have something. Now, a hippo, that's a good transition out of a Skeeter. That's a really good transition out of a Skeeter. Uh, a hippo here. <clears throat> hippo is an incredible transition. To the point where I'll feed a hippo. I'll just straight up, I'll feed a hippo. Hip, hippo ox, these are two very good ungulates, or uh, what, are, what are those things with like hooves? I think it's ungulates or something. Ant, nice ant, bro. Every time this hippo kills something, it heals. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing of beauty. This guy, he's got the honey badger, but I've got the honey elephant, and the honey elephant is a little bit scarier in my opinion, in certain circumstances. It hurt me to see you sell a level 2 otter and buy a level 1 in its place. I wanted the gold. I wanted to recycle the gold. I wanted to still be at 10 gold after I sold the otter. Which I wouldn't have been if I had combined the otter and then sold. By doing it the way I did, I did only get plus 1 plus 1. But I got 3 gold back rather than 2. And that 3 gold back was important for me to be able to do what I wanted to do on the rest of the board. So that's why I did it that way. I didn't explain that because sometimes I think a little bit too fast to be able to explain things. Um, this elephant does need to go eventually, um, and but but if if I'm going to get rid of the elephant, it's going to be for something like a honey badger. Uh, but the elephant is doing fine right now. There's nothing wrong with the elephant. Um, I don't think leveling up the elephant does anything. <sighs> a deer would be really nice at the front, especially like in front of my ox. I could do like, you know what? Freeze me a deer and I'll roll once and just see what I hit. There's the giraffe I was hoping for. Yeah, let's do this. It's a very weird kind of lineup. There's a badger. Ooh. Freeze a deer, freeze a pair, and uh, I don't think we're going. I don't. I don't think we have room for a badger here. We're doing. We're doing some weird stuff. But here's the thing: when you when when the game deals you a weird hand, you got to go with it. That's the thing. You can't just not go with a weird hand. Um, the whale ate that. That's fine. He's going to have another flamingo. That's a thing of beauty. Easily we trade. Easily we trade. And we have a rabbit at the back. Just being a happy little rabbit. Um, I think I would like to transition out of giraffe eventually, I think. Um, we're just, we're feeding the hippo. My game is loading. Game is lagging. We're trying to get a big hippo here. Um, I feel like chili on a deer. Just like makes it like a double bus, which is incredible. Potato whiskey. Uh, the prediction says doubters five win or let's. I will. You know what? I'm gonna stick with my uh, my typo there. My deer uh, owns more than your deer. Oh, the fat melon armor, baby! You can you can horse up those rams. It's not gonna help you, okay? It's not going to help you, okay? I still have a hippo in the back line, ready to just do, 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 straight through your lineup. Um, man, we just are, we are getting crap here. Roll me. We're sitting so close to so many level threes, or level twos, rather. Like, we've got, we get so close to some level twos where a penguin would have been value here. We just grab a salad bowl, and it hits two things I kind of care about. Um, there's a hippo. There's a deer. Yeah, scorpion. We're like, we're actually in really good place here. We're on seven wins on eight health. We're fine. We can, we can afford to roll for value here. A shark at the end of my lineup kind of like excites me, actually. I don't know. I'm so sad I haven't hit that level two giraffe. I think the giraffe is the next thing to go here. Um, the giraffe has provided me with serious value, but I think it's got to go. Oh my God. What is that worm, dude? Your worm is awful. Why would you even have that worm? It's pretty good chicken. The shark here is super good. And he's going for the honey badger. The honey badger was a mistake. I'm sorry. My rabbit eats your bee. It's all over. Tier 6 animals unlocked. Maybe there's a tier 6 in here that would like round up my build. I mean, I say I, my build needs help. But like, you know. Uh, level 2 deer. There's a boar. I mean, I feel like we could go boar. Let's go level two here. There's a mammoth. 
We could peel a mammoth. Monkey. Hello, you cheeky little monkey. I think I'd like to peel that mammoth. There's a cow. Cow is great value with a rabbit. Oh my god, that's a big worm. Okay, he killed my rabbit. That's okay. I think we lose this one, but that's that's fine because we're getting up now to the point where the enemies have really strong builds. <gasps> the hippo value! Never. Why would you ever doubt a hippo? Seriously, dude. Why would you ever doubt a hippo? Hippos are just insane. Um, I think we sell the mammoth, we buy the rabbit, we buy... Ooh, hold on. We buy the sushi. We buy the cow. We feed El Hippopotamus. Um, and yeah, we put our, we put our feeder animals at the back. Roll me. Sushi. Sushi with a rabbit is like great because it becomes one uh, plus one damage plus three health, which is like insane value for three gold. It is randomly assigned across your team. Um, but like the probability that you hit an animal you care about is like high enough to be worth it. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. I, this is fine. I, d I actually don't know how this game works. Okay, he's got a hippo. His hippo, this could pop off and cause me problems. Um, yeah, okay, it caused me, a, it, it did cause me problems, but that's okay. We, we have time, right? We're, 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 in, we're in bad shape. Um, I will sell this, buy this. I think when we're one win away, I don't think a rabbit matters so much. I'll sell the snail, I'll buy the sushi. High probability we hit an animal we care about, we do. Um, let's, let's, let's open with hippo now. Go salad bowl. And, uh, buy, I don't know, I'll buy a pig. So we got a big hippo up front with no food. That's okay though. Yeah, get that, get that. Ooh, he's stacking up, man. He stacked up, he did work. All right, now the jeep jeep, beep beep. Beep, beep, jeep, jeep. Gotta do work for me. Nice. 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 Pig. He's got the one-up! The one-up turkey saves him. Incredible. Incredible. It's a draw. Um, I do think that here's where we here's where we make the difference here. I reckon we grab a fly. A fly changes the game for us in, in many, many ways. Um, we cupcake the hippo. We feed the hippo. And we honey the rabbit. This is the best way. We're one win away. We still have a loss under our belt. I think this is the best way that we get to a victory screen. This is the best way. This is the way. Now, meat on a crocodile. That's kind of scary. He killed, He sniped my lineup. He sniped my entire lineup. Um, and that is just not okay. But it doesn't matter because I have an ox with a melon. And uh, was there any doubt? 10 wins. Thank you very much, boys.